Good morning, Hustle family. So today, what I want to come on here and talk about is people that don't take in consideration, and a lot of you guys maybe could relate to me, and uh, people that don't take in consideration the gas prices. Because um, to be honest, I've been getting a lot of people that wanted me to go deliver this past weekend, and El Monte, they want me to go deliver uh, just in these four places. And like I'm telling them, I only, I'm, I'm only charging them $15 delivery fee. And that's only because they're kind of far from me. So I, ha I have to count the gas going and coming back and after going again, then after coming back again. But um, some people tend not to really care about gasoline. So say like for my 13 by 13, out here in California and Los Angeles, most people, you could find a 13 by 13 for 60 bucks. But let me tell you, those 60 bucks are not gonna be worth it because you're gonna get a jumper that has been used multiple times. I, I'm gonna tell you this straight out. Multiple times that it's dirty. More than likely there's dog hair, gum, or anything stuck on that jumper. More than likely that jumper must stink. And I tell you this because there's a lot of people on um, on OfferUp, on Craigslist, on Instagram, who promote cheap jumpers, but at the time, when the customer gets it, they're pissed off and they don't want to receive the jumper, so they go ahead and just decline. They just be like, you know something, I don't want nothing, it's fine. And they make them roll up their jumper and take it back. I'm like, damn, and it has happened because people have told me stories about it. And that, that's when they reach out to somebody else. Like, say, like, if they reach out to me, hey, do you have a jumper for this day? It's an emergency. I'm like, oh, what jumper are you looking for? They're like, oh, I'm looking for a 13 by 13. That's the only thing that fits in my house. Okay, cool. So I go ahead and I shoot them like a, like if it's right here in South LA, I'll shoot them a price. Uh, say that they got, I don't know how much they got the other jumper for, but I'm sure they got like for 60 or 50 bucks. But I'll shoot them a price like a, since it's a last minute copy, like 100 bucks. They'll be like, okay, fine. Is it clean? Is it sanitized? Yeah, look it. Go on my Instagram and you can see how we clean it and we sanitize our jumper units. Okay, that's fine. I wouldn't mind paying it. Boom. You go, they tell you this whole story. You're like, yeah, you're just like, what in the heck? But it just, it just amazes me how some people would rather go the cheaper way instead of paying. You know, you pay for what you get, basically. And like I'm telling you, I had this lady contact me that she, that she wanted me to go all the way, I think it was to Torrance, California. Um, from South LA to Torrance, it's like about a 30, 35 minute drive, which is not bad, to go and deliver the four in one combo. I said, all right, cool, great. So she was like, how much is it? I'm like, well, ma'am, to be honest, um, the jumper is 160 but I'll charge you a $20 delivery fee. She said, no, that's too much for a delivery fee. I'm all like, but gas is kind of expensive and you have to take into consideration that I have to go, come back, go and come back the next day. Yeah, but that, but that's your problem, not, not our problem. So when she told me that, I was like, who are you talking to like that? You know, I'm all like, and I just and I just put the, the thumbs up on my, on my messenger. I just went thumbs up, like, all right, whatever. I left it as that. And after she goes ahead and after she keeps contacting me, well, will you be delivering or what are you thinking of doing? Something like that. I'm like, ma'am, I cannot deliver. You know, yeah, it's 160 but I'm charging a $20 um, delivery fee. No, I'm not going to pay the delivery fee. I'm like, okay, well, I guess I cannot service your um, party. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and leave you a, a bad review because you don't want to come out here to Torrance, this and that. Like, it's a business like people don't people don't get it people don't get that gas is going higher you know and it just right here in south la i don't charge i don't charge the living free because it's just like most of the time it's only like 15 minutes away from where i'm at service don't charge it but most people they charge it in regardless like they charge even though it's around where they live at they charge you a 15 20 25 30 dollar delivery fee and, you know that's a flat fee so i don't get it let me know if you guys have cheap customers like that also, when you have a customer not trying to pay your price, do this. This is what I always do. I tell them, I don't know if I make them feel like crap or not, but I just let them know. You, you're more than welcome to look around. There's other party rentals, but they and that they're they're like no, but I want to rent from you because I haven't seen this room from nobody else. Well, pay the price. But I don't tell them we'll pay the price. I'm like no, well go ahead and, and you know look around later on uh, if if you find a better deal. You know, take it or whatever. But if you don't, contact me and we'll get the ball rolling. But they they insist. No, I want to run from you. I want to run from you.
you because of all your reviews of all this, because of your Instagram, because of your photos, because of that. I even got a lady that she wanted to rent something from me because I, I was on YouTube. I was like, what the hell? But it's funny though. But you know guys, um, it is true what they say. You do pay for what you give for it, you know? And like I'm telling you guys, my jumpers, I try to keep them as clean as possible. Yeah, my born one did have that issue with the silly string, which is hard to get off. But I mean, the jumper's still good. I try to clean it. Once in a while, I go inside the jumper when it's kind of hot or whatever. I go ahead and clean it, try to clean off the goo. And when I go and deliver that specific jumper, I let the customer know that please do not let your kids play with any silly string, any goo material, none of that slime, none of that stuff. Because due to that, my jumper got damaged. Not in a bad way, but like, it looks like it's dirty, but it's not dirty. I know what y'all don't understand. I mean, I even show them like, look, if, if I go inside, I, I could scrape it all off. Like, but it'll take some time. They're like, no, no, we understand. But I tell them ahead of time what's wrong, but there's nothing completely wrong with the jumper. You can still jump and do what you want to do, but they're just silly string on the edges of the of the cracks from the jumper unit. But uh, yeah, guys, with that being said, let me know what, what kind of issues you guys be having. Let me know if you guys be charging a, a flat delivery fee or if you guys don't charge a, a delivery fee. I know a lot of people say, do not go ahead and tell them that you're charging them a delivery fee. Just throw the, just throw them the price. And that's what I usually do. But now on my invoices, I'm trying to put like a delivery, like how much am I charging delivery, this and that. Uh, also, I want to know if you guys charge tax, if you guys charge tax on any of your jumper units, because to be honest, I have it on my invoice, but I always write zero. I don't know guys, let me know if, if I should start char I'm charging tax as well a delivery fee and tax on my stuff. I don't know if that's just for businesses, LLCs or official businesses for party rentals or if it's if it could be for people like us that we don't have um that we don't have our regi our registration or whatever what is it our business registered to the city or whatever it is. Um yeah guys, so with that being said today, I am going to clean my jumpers because on Friday I have a form 1 rented. I have it rented for Saturday and Sunday. So it's a 3-day rental guys. It's going to be crack on and cracking. And um, yeah, also with my weight loss journey, I'm going to do a series. But the thing about it is that I went ahead and ordered clothes because I don't have any clothes to run. So I went ahead, you know, I went ahead and got Adidas out, even though I love Nike. I was like, nah, you know something, Nike's kind of expensive. So I went ahead and I went ahead and I bought Adidas. So I bought an, an Adidas track suit, some, I don't know if it's track, track jeans, track sweats, whatever it is, like them soccer type of material sweats. I got shirts, I got shoes, I got socks, everything I'll do that. You know, whenever you try to lose some weight, you're trying to go and match into the gym, but I'm not gonna go to the gym, I'll be running in the back of my house. But yeah, guys, um, I'll probably go to Southgate Park, I don't know. But I wanna start vlogging that, vlogging all my process of what I do, what I eat, what I this, cause trust me, I really wanna lose weight. And if I post a picture on here of how I used to look back then, you're gonna be like, dude, what the hell happened to you? I was, I was, I was skinny. I'm gonna post one up just so you guys can see right now. Watch, I'm gonna post it right about now. But yeah, guys, um, I wanna vlog that. I'm right now at Starbucks trying to get a coffee to wake up. Give me you a know minute. I had to get my ice caramel macchiato in the morning. Also, I'm gonna go right now to um, Spartan Final. I can't go to Costco right now due to the fact that, you know, my wife is just gave birth. So I don't like going by myself because it's kind of hectic because with my kids and I have to take one of them or whatever. It just gets crazy after they're, you know, I have one over here. I have to ask her, hey, are we missing this? Are we missing? So I just like doing the list and just going and just, you know, getting everything done. But either way, that's for another story. Um, like I'm telling you guys, I want to start vlogging my fitness journey. I'm not saying I'm gonna have a six pack. I'm just saying I'm trying to slim down, you know, take down some some cheeks off or whatever. You know, gotta gotta lose these cheeks because um, you know it's kind of crazy how I gained all this weight and I didn't even know. Well, I did know, but I was lazy to lose it. You know, damn McDonald's, In and Out, Chuck E. Cheese, Burger King, uh, Sizzlers. All types of stuff. All you guys messed me up. You know, all you guys messed up my physique. But um, yeah, guys, I'm trying to do this journey. I don't know if you guys will, you know, watch what I'm trying to do, but it's gonna be like what I'm eating, where I go run, 
what I do, what type of weights do I do, what type of exercises do I do, whatever. You know, I want you guys to you know comment down below. Let me know what exercises work for you, what diets work for you, because I've heard a lot of good things about keto and bad things about keto. So I don't know what to believe, but uh, let me know what, what I should do. I think I'm just gonna do it like the normal way. Uh, I'm not trying to drink any supplements right now. I'm just trying to drink water. Like, it's basically changing the way you eat. Basically, that's what it is. And um, let me know if you guys will, you know, enjoy watching that type of journey and i'll do it and also i'm gonna start vlogging more going out with my brother delivering and picking up so you guys could see the day of a delivery the day you know how i interact with customers this and that all this type of stuff but yeah guys so i hope i didn't bore you hope you guys you know get a little bit excited also i want to go live i want to go on live and i want to talk to you guys on live i want to see what questions you guys have on live you guys can ask me personally questions that you guys have regarding a jumper rental business or regarding anything the guard card or anything that you guys need FedEx um, let me know what you guys need let me know what, what you guys think and um, if I should go on live on a specific day and if you guys will join that live that's what I want to know so with that being said guys hope you guys all have a blessed day take care of yourself and grab yourself a Starbucks peace